If you're getting ready to install an aftermarket set of lowering springs on that 7904 Mustang at home, well then grabbing a new set of isolators should be at the top of your list as those factory options are probably pretty beat after a couple of decades of wear and tear. Now the SR options that we have here will be made from graphite infused urethane that will help provide you and your ride with years of quiet and trouble for use, all for right around 30 bucks for the front set. Now your installation will involve removal of the front spring, so automatically the site's gonna kick this one up to a soft three out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, take you about an hour or so to complete per side depending on how quickly you like to work. However guys, if you hang out with me for a little bit, we'll show you more on the job later in the video. So this is gonna be a short little PSA, if you will, about the importance of replacing your factory isolators if you haven't done so already. Now, as you may or may not know, those factory isolators can get a bit brittle over the course of 20 to 30 years and can deteriorate, leading to metal on metal contact, which is basically gonna result in some unpleasant noises. Not only that, but if the factory isolator is completely wasted, it can even lead to some sloppiness in your ride quality as well, as some of our customers have pointed out in the customer review section. Now this kit from SR Performance is going to completely replace both the top and bottom isolators on the front of your 7904 Mustang. Now ideally, if you are replacing these isolators at the same time as swapping a set of lowering springs, then obviously it would make a lot of sense to knock out the rears as well. And if you are gonna do that, well, you can just so happen to find the SR Performance matching rear isolators here on the site for around 20 to 25 bucks. Now the isolators themselves will be made from a durable urethane material, which is then infused or impregnated with the graphite here to help prevent these things from drying out and deteriorating on you like those stockers. And with that said, guys, these are gonna be completely maintenance-free, right? You don't have to grease them or anything like that over the years. But now we wanna show you just what it takes to get these guys in place and to do so, Here's your detailed walkthrough we promised you earlier, along with a quick tool breakdown. The tools used for this install are a half inch impact gun, a 3 8 impact gun, a 3 8 ratchet, an 18 millimeter wrench, a 24 millimeter socket, a 15 millimeter socket, and a pry bar. So the first step of this install is gonna to be to get the front end of your vehicle up off the ground and pull the front wheels. This will give you the access to remove your caliper and your rotor. Once you do that, then you can start disassembling the rest of the front suspension to get your front spring out. Next, I'm gonna unhook the sway bar end link and then I'm gonna put some support underneath the lower control arm while I disconnect the shock. Now I put a, a floor jack underneath my lower control arm to support my spring while I disconnect my shock assembly here at the front. This is gonna keep the spring from unloading uncontrollably while you're unbolting the strut assembly from the knuckle. Now I'm gonna use a little bit of leverage to get underneath the coil spring, push down on the lower control arm and remove the spring. Now I can just grab onto my isolator here at the bottom and just unravel it from the coil spring. Now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of lubricant to help get my new isolator onto the bottom of my coil spring. Now that I've got my new isolators installed, I can reinstall my coil spring back into the pocket for the lower control arm. Now that I have the coil spring seated on one edge of the pocket, I can use a floor jack to slowly raise the lower control arm into place and seat the spring properly. 
Make sure when you raise your lower control arm back up that you line up the sway bar end link with the sway bar hole. Once I was able to use my floor jack to raise the lower control arm up to the proper height, I can reinstall my rubber bushing from my sway bar end link that I lined up while raising everything, and then I can put my bolts back in from the knuckle to the strut assembly. Now I can re reconnect my ABS clips and route the wire harness as per factory. Now I can tighten up my sway bar and link bolt. Now you can reinstall your calipers, throw your wheels back on, and you're pretty much all wrapped up. And now you can repeat this process on the other side as it's exactly the same. And that's going to wrap up this review and install of the SR Performance Polyurethane Front Spring Isolators for your 99-04 Mustang. Thanks for watching, and for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.